We are participating in Medicare's Primary Care First program. We submitted our quality measures for 2022 as ECQMs, but our quality submission was disqualified. Why did that happen? And what can we do about it? Great question, Miranda. And not knowing the specifics of your situation, there are several things that can go wrong with your quality submission. Working backwards from a winning score, the first potential problem is score. For primary care first, quality measures have a pass-fail dynamic. You have to have a score that meets or exceeds the 30th percentile nationwide on each of your quality measures to earn any of your quarterly performance-based adjustment. Medicare publishes annually, early in the performance year, the goal benchmark minimum performance rate for each measure. If you don't achieve at, at least that 30th percentile benchmark for each of your measures, you do not collect any of the performance-based adjustment. The second potential problem is timeliness of the submission. For the hemoglobin A1C, blood pressure control, and colorectal cancer screening measures that apply to risk strata one and two, those measures have to be submitted to Medicare before the close of the annual submission window, which is typically at the end of the day on March 31st. The third problem is mechanism. Primary Care First is one of the few programs that limits choice. Each measure has to be submitted using the proper mechanism by the March 31st due date. In most programs, hemoglobin A1C, blood pressure, colorectal cancer screening can be submitted by eCQMs, by MIPS CQMs, or by claims. For Primary Care First, the hemoglobin A1C, blood pressure control, and colorectal cancer screening measures have to be submitted as eCQMs. Advanced care plan is calculated by Medicare from your Part B claims as an administrative claims measure, and that's the only way it's accepted. The fourth potential problem is EHR documentation workflows. For the eCQM measures, you need to have entered data for each patient in the right place to be picked up by the EHR's eCQMs. You might have performed the care, you might have recorded in the chart, but if the record is not visible exactly how and where the EasyCam tool is looking for it, you may fail to achieve a winning benchmark. The fifth potential problem is advanced care planning documentation workflows. Probably the greatest risk for failing the quality measurement component is the advanced care plan administrative claims measure. Medicare is going to look in your claims for CPT billing codes 99497 or 99498 that indicated you charged for a visit in which you discussed an advanced care plan. They also look for CPT2 code, that is the QDC codes, 1123F or 1124F, indicating that it was done previously or you did it in this visit in a context that you could not or did not bill specifically for it. You might have done it, it might be clearly recorded in a chart, but if it's not reflected in a claim with one of these service codes attached to a visit in the applicable performance year, it will not be credited to you. Now, if you failed and, and you're destined not to collect a performance-based adjustment this year, there are a couple things you can do, uh, one that you should and, one, and will help you and one that may or may not. First, fix whatever it, it was that failed you in the first year. Make sure your data is recorded in the right place for the EHR to pick it up for the eCQM measure. That's hemoglobin A1C, blood pressure, and colorectal cancer screening. You must put it in the right place in all of your visits going forward. You can also amend prior visits to transcribe the data you collected previously and recorded in the wrong way, put it in the right place to be picked up. Now, if you have not been adding an advanced care plan CPT or QDC code, to your Medicare claims, you only have to do it once in a year for each of your eligible patients. Eligible patients are Medicare patients 65 or over. This is an exception to the usual all, all insurers, all patients uh, strategy for other quality measures. So if you're going to see most of your patients still in the rest of the year, <clears throat> you may be able to correct this without any loss uh, going forward. If you see them again, 
you can put uh, put the QDC code or the uh, CPT code on it. You are not permitted to amend a previous claim with a QDC code. That is the 1123F or the 1124F. But if you missed an opportunity to bill for the advanced care plan discussion, you can submit an amended claim, including that code. Second, this may or may not work, you can request a targeted review by Medicare. To request a targeted view review, you need to log in to the qpp.cms.gov website using your HARP credentials and choose targeted review from the menu on the left. You'll see a list of permissible reasons for review and a list of impermissible reasons in the application form. If your request is not permitted, you can enter a ticket to request help from the QPP help desk. So good luck. I hope you can correct things for next year and get uh, qualified for your uh, performance bonus.